in bonds have slid over the last hour or so after Kujins has put out a story claiming that the Prime Minister is opposed to a foreign currency denominated bond offering. This comes less than 24 hours after Subhash Chandra Garg, one of the architects of the foreign bond issue, was removed as the Economic Affairs Secretary. Joining us right now on the phone line is R. Siva Kumar, the head of fixed income at Access MF. Siva, thanks so much for joining in. You reckon that was, that's the reason why the yields have hardened, but it's a quite a bit of a turn, turn of events from uh, a headline stating that it will be a $10 billion bond issue in October to and, and a possibility of it not being a dollar bond issue. But I think that's right. I think uh, it's a fair. If, if this story is borne out and there is a swing in the government's thought process, uh, it does represent a substantial change uh, in the outlook uh, for markets. I think one of the positives that the market bond market took away from the budget was this announcement on uh, an overseas sovereign issue. Uh, and... Uh, uh, Firstly, by reducing the domestic uh, supply, and secondly, by uh, adding one more sort of uh, inflow into forex, which could have also helped in sort of strengthening the rupee and uh, keeping a lid on inflation. So I think this does uh, represent some kind of a pressure for markets uh, if it if it uh, transpires that they are cancelling the overseas auctions. You, you'd be surprised, Siva, I reckon, because it almost seemed a done deal with the amounts, with the quantum, etc. And all set for that, the conversation was that it will be lapped up, could be oversubscribed, all of that. And suddenly we are looking at this. What could have led to this, Siva, to your mind? That's a very difficult question to answer because, uh, you know, there has been a whole lot of uh, commentary in uh, media from various uh, uh, members of the public uh, and former uh, officials uh, saying, the, you know, pointing out to risks in the, uh, in the idea of the government carrying uh, foreign currency risk. Uh, now, that is quite true. But uh, we should remember that this is not some idea which is new. We have had the RBI at uh, at least a couple of instances in the last uh, uh, decade or decade and a half that the RBI has gone and uh, effectively underwritten swap in, um, uh, for example, in the uh, NR, FCNR bonds, FCNR deposits, etc. And if, since the RBI is owned by the government, that risk effectively has was transferred to the government. So I think one way or the other, we have had some experience doing this. And if the government feels this is the right time, uh, I think they should have gone ahead and done it. Uh, just uh, one question from me, Siva. Um, while obviously the announcement of these sovereign bonds led to yields coming off, we've seen um, you know that reverse in today's session, but obviously not a, a big amount as such. But if at all this starts to culminate and some more details start to come out, do you believe that the uh, the yields which had come off significantly and were somewhere closer to 6.43, 6.44 early in the morning could go back down to those levels and probably even lower, which we've seen in the past few days? I think there are a couple of things in play here also. Remember that there was a, uh, the uh, interview that the RBI governor gave, uh, which seemed to suggest that uh, you know they, uh, a lot of rate cuts have been given, and uh, probably uh, you know the RBI may be more data dependent going forward. Uh, means that the uh, the market was already a little bit on tender hooks that the RBI may not deliver significantly more uh, by way of rate cuts. Uh, added to that, this uh, this uh, news or potential news on supply, I think that's the reason why the markets are quite jittery. So we will need one or both of these to change. That is to say that whether uh, maybe RBI actually goes out and delivers a rate cut uh, the first week of uh, August, uh, and or uh, the government goes back and uh, restarts this process of issuing overseas sovereign bonds. Now, one of the questions here is that the the debate is whether the entire sovereign bond uh, overseas idea is cancelled or just the currency. And if they do go on issue overseas, it does reduce the supply risk uh, domestically anyway. So we'll have to wait and see uh, how this uh, news item uh, pans out. All right. Got that. Siva, thanks very much for joining us. Really appreciate you taking out the time.